What's going on, y'all? Nick here. Coming to you with another video, you guys. Check this one out because this is perhaps one of the saddest things I've seen in a long time. And it's actually quite painful to watch. But check this out because I think it's there's something really important that we must discuss here. So I just left the restaurant after waiting 30 minutes for a day to show up. And apparently I got stood up. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm trying to do everything right to be a gentleman. I brought flowers. I've been consistent talking with this girl for two weeks, trying to get to know what she likes, what she doesn't like. I made plans. I picked the restaurant, the day and the time. You know, I've done everything to be just the kind of guy that would value somebody's time. Like, I just... I'm just looking for my person. I'm just looking for the one that... I guess he's out there for me. I mean, I want to be somebody's husband someday, father. I'm trying to do everything that's right, and I just get stood up. Like, my feelings didn't even matter. I'm sitting there eating a meal by myself, and realizing that nobody even cares about people anymore. Like, Ellie and dating shouldn't even be this hard. It shouldn't be this hard to find somebody. It shouldn't be this difficult to fall in love, to be to kind one another. Like, what, ladies, tell me, what did I do wrong? All right, so I'm sure you guys saw that. Now, why is this really sad? Now, I'm going to tell you, right? I remember when I was growing up, there was all these talks about how, you know, men are dogs you know, men are just players. They just think of women just for sex. You know, anything along those lines, right? And, you know, all that you see within the media was all these women who they're the ones that's looking for true love. They're the ones that's actually looking for romance or whatever the case may be. And what we're witnessing now Especially the more feminism continually grows, the more this women empowerment movement continually grows, and now we're starting to see more modern women. I think what we're starting to realize is that, you know, men actually desire love the same way these women do. And believe it or not, I think what they're realizing is that women, since the time that they've been, quote unquote, liberated, women are showing their true colors. And deep down inside, I think what people are starting to realize is that a lot of women, not all, but a lot of women actually don't care about all this romance the way it was portrayed in these television shows and these movie dramas, right? Nah. I, and, you know, with all the talks about female nature and female and how they're hypergamous, we're starting to realize that, you know, women can be just as cutthroat when it comes to dating as men or as men were perceived to be back in the day. What makes it sad is because this man is literally crying. Literally crying, you guys. And just asking women. He's asking women, which I think that's the biggest mistake he could ever do. Because I don't think women are going to keep it a book with him. At least not all. You know, this, uh, you know, not all. Not all, you guys. <laughs> but majority, all right? Gosh, because I know... All the people out there, they always like to look at outliers. But I'm just talking about the majority. You know, women, they are not going to reveal to you their true nature. This is the reason why content like Red Pill, Make Tile, Passport Brothers, that's the reason why it's getting so much traction because deep down inside, a lot of people are starting to realize Man, some of these women, they really, their heart is really dark. They're really dark. And they're not these cre 
creatures full of joy and they're not meek as they present themselves to be. I mean, again, this man is literally crying in tears saying that he did all the right things and why can nobody just accept him? A woman, why can't he just find the right woman? You know, and he's looking for love too. But I'm going to just tell you straight up, right? I think what this man is is going through is what a lot of men go through and must go through before they wake up. It's almost like this necessary evil that needs to take place in order for majority of men, simps, betas, to just wake the hell up. And I know it sounds bad and you know, a lot of fellas may not want to hear this, but it's just the truth. You know, I think majority of men who actually are, you know, quote unquote masculine today, majority of them went through their eye-opening experience when it comes to women. Whether it was a breakup, you name it, you know, the list goes on and on, but majority of men wake up to that moment where they just like, wow, I can't believe I just been done wrong. And, you know, in the midst of that, they tend to go find red pill content and they try to understand, you know, female nature. And I've spoke about this many times. All I believe is that what tends to happen is that these men end up growing bitter because they're just like, you know what? These 304s ain't loyal. They start listening to a bunch of Chris Brown. <laughs> I'm being facetious guys But What I'm saying is rooted in truth These guys get bitter as hell And what I tend to find out Is usually this sparks The cycle Of men who Because they got hurt by women They proceed forth to try to hurt Women They become the bad boys And the dogs and all that shit. And it's just sad because, again, the cycle continues on and on, you know. It's really unfortunate. Again, you know, I, I don't hope for this to happen. But like I said, I believe it's a necessary evil. You know, I think a lot of men need to just grow up and come to the realization that, you know, majority, not all, a majority of women All that romance shit Yeah they, they, they say that They say that But when you present yourself As that guy who's trying to Buy a box of chocolates And flowers And you cater to the every whim And you're the man that puts your coat On the puddle So that they can walk over And you do all this Beta male shit these women, they will not, they will eat you up and spit you out. Period, point blank. That's just a fact. A lot of fellas don't want to hear that, but that is the truth about female nature. They will literally do you dirty. Now, again, I'm not bitter. You see, the thing is, <laughs> if you just read the Bible, the Bible already warns you of female nature. So I, I don't actually entertain the whole aspect that all women are, you know, this and all women are trash. No, 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 no. It's all about understanding na their nature and acting accordingly. This is why the Bible warns you, man, not to just give your heart so easily onto women. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because when you, could you imagine? I've always told a lot of, you know, fellas this. Everyone, both male and female, but you know, this is majority for the men right now. But a man in the general sense, their greatest commodity is time. You could lose money, you could lose friends, you could lose a job, and you can replace it. You can replace it all. But the one thing you cannot replace 
because it's an actual limited resource is your time. And you need to learn how to preserve and cherish your time. Because if you run out of time, it's game over, guys. And I think what hurts the most is when guys invest so much into women. The texting, the calling, you name it. Just for them to get nothing in return. Just for them to be stood up. That's extremely painful. That's extremely painful. So I think what you know, men need to really learn is to guard their time. Don't be that simp that's just catering to women's every need. You're spending countless hours texting them back and forth and you're not expecting nothing in return? No, 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 no. You will be a fool. You will be a complete other fool. Now, with that being said, you guys, this is just the harsh reality of this modern society that you're dealing with. You know, I don't believe in dating to begin with. What it should be is that man should be going to the father and speaking to the father and arranging, you know, having some type of agreement whether or not they're going to proceed with the father giving his daughter to that man. You see, in such an arrangement, you're not wasting your time for the most part. You know, there's rare occasion, there's rare cases, but for the most part, you know, when you actually do things the right way and you're not doing all this texting back and forth and you're not doing all this dating and spending money, bringing her to all these movies just for her to still not give you this any time of day. No, 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 no. You see, this is why the Bible had it right. Men back in the day, they just spoke to the father. And, you know, if so long as that woman actually agreed, that woman was given to that man, all that dating stuff does not. Listen to what I'm telling you guys. All that dating stuff does not guarantee that you're going to actually have a wife. And this is, what it, this is what I'm saying. You're literally wasting time, money, resources when you engage in this westernized, version of dating I, mean, I, I don't even know what it is I mean dating is not a eastern it's not part of eastern culture so this abomination a lot of people that partake in it hey if you get stood up just know that's what you signed up for that's what you signed up for now I, the reason why I'm giving you this is because you know I love my audience and I'm just trying to give them some truth. It, it's, it's, you really, it's really up to you. If you choose to continue this dating shit, hey, <laughs> be prepared for whatever comes from it. But like I said, you guys, this is totally sad. But it's a necessary evil for a lot of men. And I hope, this is just my hope, that maybe... Some young men out there will come across this video and they will learn, nah, I'm not finna give up all my resources, especially my time, to deal with a woman just to be stood up. Nah, nah. I, I, it's probably best to do things the traditional old school way, you know, and actually communicate with the father. You know what I'm saying? Because that is the right thing to do anyway. But, Again, all I can do is give a warning. If you guys like videos like this, like, subscribe, comment down below. With that being said, Nick over and out. The message sent. Jesus is king, y'all.